everyone. Today I'm going to be making a gluten-free Brazilian cheese buns, but I'm going to turn them into little miniature pizzas. The main ingredient in Brazilian buns is tapioca flour, which is also called tapioca starch. This is gluten-free by Bob's Red Mill. Here you can see how light and powdery this flour is. I'll put all the measurements and ingredients down below. I'm using a KitchenAid mixer with the paddle. I combine the tapioca flour with some salt. In a small saucepan, I combined butter and milk. I brought the milk to a boil and melted the butter. Now I'm going to slowly add the milk and butter mixture. I'm now going to add a cheese mix. I'm using a mixture of Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese. Let the dough cool for a good 10 minutes because you're going to be adding eggs and you don't want the eggs to cook in with the dough. I have two beaten eggs. I'm going to slowly add the eggs to the batter and let that mix in completely. The batter is all mixed. I used a rubber spatula to scrape down the bowl. This is the consistency of the batter. I lined my cookie sheet with Silpat liners and I used an extra large ice cream scoop to measure out the batter. I'm now going to bake them in a preheated 375 degree oven. I'm going to be putting sausage on my pizza. I got hot Italian and sweet Italian sausage. They are gluten free. I'm going to remove the sausage from the casings and brown them up. While the Brazilian pizza buns are cooking, I added both the sausages to a pan and using a wooden spoon, I'm going to brown them up and crumble the sausage. The sausage is all browned up. I'm now going to drain it in a colander to remove the fat. They took 20 minutes to bake. They have that wonderful aroma of a Brazilian cheese bun, except they're flat for a pizza. Sometimes because they're so large, they will spread out and I just take a butter knife to separate them. So here's what they look like on the bottom. Ooh, those are hot. Now I'm going to remove them and cool them on a wire rack. I'm now adding the toppings to my pizza. Spread on some pizza sauce. Don't bring it right to the edge because this does not have a crust like a traditional pizza. I'm going to be cooking them on the cookie sheet. My oven has been preheated to 375. Next, I top the pizzas with the crumbled up sausages. You can use any meat of your choice, or if you don't want meat, add some vegetables at this time. I used two packages of sausages, and I didn't need all the sausages, so I'm going to save the extra sausages either for a sauce, or tomorrow maybe we'll make some omelets for breakfast. I topped my pizza with a five pizza cheese blend. It has mozzarella, provolone, romano, parmesan, and cheddar cheese. Now these are ready to go into the oven. I cooked the pizzas for 10 minutes, making sure that the sauce and the cheese was hot and melted. I don't want to continue baking them in the oven because at this point, the crust will get too hard. So now I have my broiler preheating. I'm going to take each pan and place it under the broiler for about a minute or so, keeping a close eye on it so the cheese is nice and golden brown. It only took about a minute and a half to get the golden brown color under the broiler. I'm going to let these cool off for a few minutes before I cut them and show you what they look like on the inside. They sure smell great. Here's the inside of the pizza. It has that nice soft cheese texture of a regular Brazilian cheese bun. I'm going to give it a taste and let you know what I think. The crust has a beautiful texture. It tastes absolutely wonderful. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.